Well, you could have surprised me because given the resources that you are expending and the apparently intelligence assets that you are deploying against Catholics, it appears, and other people of faith while simultaneously turning a blind eye while people are executed gang style on the streets. I don't know if you caught this or not, but man, I was so proud of Senator Josh Hawley. He's not my senator, but I was proud of him yesterday because he let Merrick Garland have it uh, yesterday. And it was just so good. We remember the stories. I had Kyle Serafim on not all that long ago uh, to talk about. He was an FBI whistleblower to talk about the memo that the FBI was using in one of their Virginia field offices to say trad Catholics are to be suspected. They are leading to white nationalism. Really? Really? And then, of course, we've had our good friend Mark Houck on the program a number of times. You know, he was uh, facing 11 years in prison and, by the grace of God, was exonerated. In fact, he even made it to see uh, President Biden during the, uh, the, the State of the Union address. So all that was very recently on a Catholic take. But let's tune in. Let's listen. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Attorney General Garland, let, let me just ask you, does your department have a problem with anti-Catholic bias? Uh, our department um, is... Uh uh, 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 protects all religions um, and all ideologies. It does not have uh, any uh, bias against any religion of any kind. Does that sound like a very confident answer? I'm just curious. Uh, 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 yeah, we're uh, no, <clears throat> uh, no, uh, 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 no. Like, wow, that was not a very like you. He knew what he was getting into today, right? Like, Merrick Garland is not not an, a dumb man. He's a very intelligent person. You don't get to his level unless you are, you know, pretty sharp. You're a politician. You know the game. You know what you're going to receive before you receive it. He has aides, people to prepare him. So. How did he not have a more confident answer? Absolutely not, Senator Hawley. There is no way we would be anti-Catholic. I mean, like, no. Instead, it's a blah, blah, blah. Yeah, what's going on with that? Everybody's the same. Right. Let's hear it. Well, you could have surprised me because given the resources that you are expending and the apparently intelligence assets that you are deploying against Catholics, it appears, and other people of faith while simultaneously turning a blind eye while people are executed gang style on the streets of our cities, including in my home state. By the way, did you catch that? It was like video that was passing around. There was uh, two guys on a street corner, other people just filming the entire exchange. This was in St. Louis just the other day. A homeless man sitting on the curb while another man calmly, slowly loads his gun and then holds it to the man's head and kills him right then and there while people filmed it. No one stopped it. No one intervened. No one did anything. And this was on the streets of St. Louis just the other day. That's what he's referring to. I, your answer, frankly, surprises me. Let's talk about the Mark Hout case, for example. You've been asked about this already today, and frankly, your answers really astound me. This is a case where a Catholic pro-life demonstrator, father, was accused of disorderly conduct in front of an abortion center. The local prosecutor, the Philadelphia district attorney who is a Democrat, a liberal, very progressive, declined to prosecute. There was a private suit that got dismissed. And then after all of that, your Justice Department sent between 20 and 30 armed agents in the early morning hours to the House private residence to arrest this guy after he had offered to turn himself in voluntarily. Here's the photo. Once again, you can see the long guns. You can see the ballistic shields. You can see the, the battering ram. They brought a battering ram. You might remember. In fact, if you're watching us on video, we can link to some of those clips uh, b below. But nonetheless, they brought a battering ram to the Hauk residence. Now, we've had Mark on the program just recently talking about uh, his experience at the State of the Union and all this. Just to refresh your memory, a couple of, uh, it was a, a year ago, Mark had gotten to an exchange with a Planned Parenthood volunteer. The Planned, P Plan Planned Parenthood volunteer walked across Cross the street to confront Mark's son and be vulgar in Mark's son's face. Mark, being the father, says, back off, Jack. That's my son. You do not have permission to get in my son's face and talk to my son. Don't talk to my son. Tried to remove his son from the scenario, and this guy pursued, continuing to be vulgar, continuing to get into his face. Mark pushed the man down after the warning said back off because that's what dads do. Dads protect their sons. And that's what Mark did. And in fact, he was, as uh, Senator Hawley points out, the local charges dismissed nothing happening. It was as soon as that happened that the Fed picks up the case and pursues the FACE Act violation. That they're wearing bulletproof vests. Why did the Justice Department do this? Why did you send 20 to 30 
SWAT style agents and a SWAT style team to this guy's house when everybody else had declined to prosecute and he'd offered to turn himself in. Determinations of how to make arrests under arrest warrants are made based uh, by the tactical operators um, in the uh, district. They are but not you surely looked into it by this point, right? They, you, you know the answer. Sure. Oh, they, so good. All I know so is what uh, the FBI has said, which is that they made it. Do you believe that? All I know, all I know is what the FBI has said. If you're the attorney general. Like, the buck stops with you. You're the boss, and all you know, you show up to a Senate hearing with Josh Hawley, of all people, to say, all I know is. Decisions on the ground as to what was safest and easiest. So you do not agree with your description of what happened on the scene. You don't agree with my description. I'm pointing out what the photo is. There are agents here who have long guns and ballistic shields. Let's take a look at the hardened criminals that your Justice Department sent these armed agents to go terrorize on that morning. Here they are. Here they are at mass. Here's the seven children with Mr. Houck and his wife. In this early morning, they were all at home. Mrs. Houck has said repeatedly the children were screaming. They feared for their lives. You've got these agents demanding that he come out. They've got the gun, she said, pointing at the house and at them. He has offered to turn himself in. And this is who you go to terrorize. What's really interesting to me is this seems to directly contradict your own memorandum about the use of force at the Justice Department. You say officers may use only the force that is objectively reasonable to effectively control an incident. Are you telling me that in your opinion as Attorney General, it was objectively necessary to use 20 or 30 SWAT-style agents with long guns and ballistic shields for these people? What I'm saying is that decisions about how to go about this were made on the ground by FBI agents. So you're saying you don't- Notice he didn't answer the question. He's, it's a, it's, he's just punting here. Is it appropriate? Now, the first time I ever interviewed Kyle Serafin and the other whistleblower from the FBI, I asked them about this issue directly. Is this an appropriate response? You know what they told me? This is what they told me. They said that 99% uh, uh, of the time, if you need to arrest somebody, you can do so co uh, without confrontation, without excitement, without the need of a SWAT team. One of the agents said, listen, all I do is if I really need to bring somebody in and I could call them and they probably would come in anyway, but if even if I wanted to or needed to arrest them, I would simply wait for them to be gassing up at the gas pump. And then I would approach. He says, it always works. It's never an issue. They always come in. You catch them at that moment, not at their house. You catch them at the gas pump. I was blown away by that. You know what they said about the SWAT team? He said, he, they, they, they bet. You know, they were they were stipulated, they were speculating here, rather, they were speculating that this was a case where they needed to get the rookies time on a SWAT uh, style event. They have to check the boxes. Rookies have to go through a series of training and experiences to say that they've done it. So they had to check the boxes. So these rookies get time and they take cases like this to go do the raid so they get the rookies the experience they need. Let that sink in for a second. The Hauk children had to see their, their father hauled away uh, under you know uh, AR-15s and ballistic shields so that rookies could get an experience. What's the experience of the family? That's the question of my mind. No. I'm, I'm saying what I just said. Which is that you're abdicating responsibility? I'm not abdicating responsibility. Then give me the answer. Is Do you think in your opinion, you are the Attorney General of the United States. You are in charge of the Justice Department. And yes, sir, you are responsible. Yeah. So give Let me him have it. The FBI does not agree with your description. I'm not asking about the FBI. You are the Attorney General. Exactly. Give me your answer. Do you think 100%. that it was objectively reasonable yes that they no. followed your guidelines in sending 20 to 30 armed agents to terrorize these people? Yes or no? The facts I have, which are those presented by the FBI, are not consistent with your description. What does that got to do with it? Yes or no? Do you personally feel, Merrick Garland, do you personally feel that this was the appropriate response? Yes or no? In spite of the facts, in spite of it all, do you feel personally that this is appropriate? That's the question. Yes or no? Answer the question. He won't. So you he think never it was does. reasonable? I'm saying the facts are not as you described. What, that the children weren't there? That there wasn't, that there weren't long guns there? That there weren't agents? What, wasn't, what, what do you dispute? What's the factual premise you dispute? FBI Be specific. said they don't agree with your description of... Be um, specific. They don't agree with what? Of, of how many agents, of the agents who were there, and of what their roles were. They don't agree. Do you know That's the jury in this case acquitted Mr. Houck? I'm sure you're aware. Do you know how long it took him? I, I am aware. I'm I like, look at the look on his face. Do you know how long face. it took him? I don't know. Look at this. One hour. 
Look at the one blinking. Out. Merrick Garland's blinking is off the record here. To prosecute. The private suit's dismissed. You use an unbelievable show of force with guns that I just note liberals usually decry. We're supposed to hate long, long guns and assault-style weapons. You're happy to deploy them against Catholics and innocent children. Happy to. And then Not to mention the news story I reported a minute ago about uh, Merrick Garland yesterday also admitting that they have pr uh, prosecuted more pro-lifers than pro-abortion extremists because... The crimes were in the daytime and not in the night. So when pro-abortionists firebomb clinics, for instance, in the nighttime, and there's still video and footage, nonetheless, that doesn't get prosecuted. It's the pro-lifers that get prosecuted. It's, it seems clear to us that there's a bias. Call him into court and a jury acquits him in one hour. I just suggest to you that that is a disgraceful performance by your Justice Department and a disgraceful use of resources. I notice a pattern, though. The FBI field office in Richmond... On the 23rd of January of this year, issued a memorandum in which they advocated for, and I quote, the exploration of new avenues for tripwire and source development against traditionalist Catholics, it's their, their language, including those who favor the Latin mass. Oof. Attorney General, are you cultivating sources and spies? Watch in this. Latin mass I mean, if you're Catholic listening on radio, you can't watch it, but does he is that. squirming. Does not, um, do investigations based on religion. Uh, I saw uh, the document. Uh, 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 it's uh, appalling. Uh, uh, it's appalling. Uh, uh, it is appalling, Merrick Garland. It's appalling for sure. But when you're asked whether or not you have bias against Catholics, you stammer, you stutter, you give less than a confident answer, you blink your eyes a thousand times, you're squirming in your seat. It's very simple. It's very clear. You're getting a little bit more confident with this answer. In complete agreement with you. I understand that the FBI has withdrawn it and is now looking into how this could ever have happened. How did it happen? That's what they're looking into. But I'm totally in agreement with you. That document is appalling. I'll tell you how it happened. The, the blink rate. You, if you ever watch like or listen to body behavioral experts, they will tell you the blink rate is a clear indicator. He is blinking off the charts right now. Like it's clear. I don't know that he was prepared for this. Like that seems mind blowing to me. How could he? How could the attorney general not be ready it's for this? which is supposed to be intelligent, cites extensively the Southern Poverty Law Center, which goes on to identify all of these different Catholics as being part of hate groups. Is, is this how the FBI, under your direction and leadership, is, is this how they do their intelligence work? They look, they look at left wing advocacy groups to target Catholics. Is this what's going on? I mean, clearly it is. How is this happening? The guy is not targeting Catholics, and as I've said. Memorandum it doesn't reflect the methods that the guy is supposed to be using. It should not be relying on any single organization. Let me just ask you, my time expires here, a very direct question. How, how many informants do you have in Catholic churches? Ooh, ooh, ooh. And I don't believe we have. Yeah, well, everybody's asking themselves that question right now. How many informants are sitting next to me at the traditional Latin Mass? Because I'm a trad Catholic and pro life and uh, been close friends with Mark Houck for a very long time. And I stand proud of all of that. We'll be right back.